welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the, I'm just very excited to give you review of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this foundation. It was in a haul that I just recently posted and I've had it for a little bit of time, but just didn't pull it out until very, very recently. And I'm not exactly sure why, because I absolutely love this foundation. I can very easily say this is the first foundation from the drugstore that I have loved so very much. And that's pretty exciting um, to have something that's so easily attainable and affordable and um, available for coupons, which is always cool. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> So I'm pretty jazzed to talk about it with you guys. So if you would like to see me demo and review this product, just keep on watching. All right, y'all, let's get started. So for me to start, I've already primed my face and also done my eye makeup. This video is going to be about the good old L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. So I didn't think I need to show you my eye makeup or anything like that. Um, I popped on some lashes and I have primed my face with primers that I prefer. Use whatever you like because today it's all about this puppy. So I've tried this foundation a few different times and I find that I like the coverage a lot better with the brush. So we're going to use the Morphe E6. It's just a flat top kabuki brush, whichever one you like. By all means, use that one. So usually what I do is just take the foundation and go right to the brush. And I pour a little dollop on there. You know, whatever you need. And then I just stipple it on to my face. Just really get in there and then once it's pressed in, I start to buff it in. I like to squeeze it and get right in there. Now, to start, this foundation does look a little bit light, but it oxidizes to a really perfect shade for me. And the coverage is fantastic with, I think, just one layer. Oh, let's not ruin my brows today. So I will say along my jawline here, I have some um, scarring from some acne. Sometimes I like to bring it down my neck a little bit right there. And along my jawline here, I have a couple spots as well. So it covers that really well without a lot of work at all. And then just such an even, beautiful, I think, um, coverage it gives you here. So you do still see some of my imperfections peeking through, but it's a coverage that I really, really like. And you can certainly, that was just one layer, so you can certainly build it up. And if you can see just how the light hits it there, it is a little glowy, but not super glowy. These are the claims that L'Oreal has for the makeup. They call it a radiant finish, which I really do agree. It is rather radiant, um, but not dewy because I don't, I don't like to start at dewy per se because then I may get a little extra dewy as the day goes on. But I've worn this. I typically don't set it. Um, I may set my T-zone, but that's about it. And then I go about my day. So that is the application of the foundation. That's just one layer. You certainly could build it up if you wanted to. Sometimes I do build it up around my chin, but it's like the middle of the day. I'm not going anywhere. So I don't feel the need to do that at the current moment. But as we kind of continue to talk, you can see it's just starting to kind of settle into its final color. It does oxidize just a little bit, but it oxidizes to a really what I think good color for me. So I've applied my concealer and just a little bit of powder right under my eyes, but I did wanna try maybe contouring with 212. Yeah, 
So I used 211 all over my face and I'm gonna use 212 to do a little, a little contour. This could be a great plan or this could be a terrible plan. We're gonna see. We're gonna decide together. And with the Beauty Blender, gonna blend that out. I think I like it. It gives a nice kind of bronzy effect around the whole face, which is usually what I go for as opposed to like a harsh contour. So I kind of like it. I did place it just above the hollow of my cheek, just in case I got a little crazy with the blending and blend it too far down. So that's a, a tip you guys can maybe try if you're interested, but I do like it as a kind of subtle bronzer. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then come back. All right guys, so we are back and I finished my makeup. I kind of brushed out my hair a little bit so we look a little presentable. Um, so I finished off everything and I have to say, I am really, really loving this foundation if you haven't already figured it out. <laughs> Especially if you follow me on social media, I talk about this foundation a ton on Instagram, on the pictures I post because one of the pros for me is this foundation photographs beautifully like the last few pics that i've posted with this foundation on truly truly you guys has little to no retouching um two of them are posted had no retouching and one of them had just the tiniest little bits of get rid of those smile lines in my forehead um because i'm scared of needles and botox but anyway <laughs> so i absolutely love this foundation you've seen the kind of demo clips and i wanted to just kind of touch on the claims that l'oreal gives for this foundation and so it's the 24 hour infallible pro glow foundation it does has spf 15 in it and it's a radiant finish for normal to dry skin and it's supposedly hydrating as well um i definitely agree normal to dry skin even combination skin will work really well with this foundation um i think Perhaps if you use a bit of a mattifying powder you, and you're oily, you could also use this foundation um, because again, it does give a glow, it does give a radiant finish, but it's not super dewy on application. So I definitely agree with that. Um, so the finish is supposedly radiant. I agree, check mark. Um, the wear is up to 24 hours. Couldn't really tell you much about that. I never wear my foundation that long. Um, the coverage is medium. Now, I, I think I agree. I think I agree it's a medium, but definitely buildable coverage, but it's more on the like medium to high side of coverage, I would say. Now I do apply with a foundation brush, so that does provide um, a little more coverage instantly as opposed to needing to build it up with like a beauty blender. I didn't love this foundation as much with a beauty blender, so that's why you saw me apply it with a brush. And then the texture is air light, and I agree with that. It doesn't feel heavy on the face at all. It feels very good. And the pro tip is to shake well, dot onto skin and rolling motion for flawless coverage. Now that to me makes it sound as though you need to use a beauty blender, but as you just saw previously, I definitely use a brush and that's my favorite way to apply this foundation. I also did use the foundation to do a little bit of bronzing, which in the viewfinder and in the mirror in front of me, Looks pretty radiant and um, a good color. This foundation does oxidize a little bit. So in the clip you see me appear, um, apply it, and it may look a little bit light, at least it does to me in person when I'm applying it, but it oxidizes right to a perfect shade for me, I believe. Um, the 212 color, because I used 211 all over my face, the 212 color that I used for kind of the perimeter for bronzing my face, um, didn't seem to oxidize quite as much. So that seemed a little interesting, but I do like the color and I do like the finish. I, of course, I added, a, you know, a little bit of highlight because, I mean, y'all know who you came to talk to. 
me. I love highlight. Um, but I think it does have an overall kind of glowy finish. Um, I do intend to continue to wear this foundation. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad it's at the drugstore because then you can get, you know, buy one, get one half off coupons. And that's just like a win-win as far as I'm concerned. So if you have not noticed already, I love this foundation. It is one of my, by far, my favorite foundations. And um, just in case you missed it, we were talking about the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Foundation. I have shades 211 and 212. They are absolutely fabulous. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love this review as much as I love reviewing it for you. Um, as always, be sure, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up and definitely hit subscribe if you haven't already. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that little bell right next to the subscribe button just to be sure that my new videos pop up in your feed and you don't miss anything um, from uh, the headquarters over here. And, you know, I think I'll quit rambling on for a minute, but as always, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.